Hello everyone, Mimikins here. Today I'm going to be looking at the Kiar Blitz Thunder from Arch Tempered Cove Terrace. PC gamers will finally get to experience the AT version on April the 19th, so you guys will be able to farm these Kiar weapons soon enough. I've personally found the drop rate for the rarity 8 weapons far higher in AT Cove, as long as you complete the objectives. I've got a guide up on YouTube for the builds I used to defeat AT Cove Tarth if you need. The Kiar Blitz Thunder is a very good weapon if you can get your hands on one. The interesting thing about this gun is that it has several very usable ammo types. The gun is amazing for elemental thunder builds, but it can also be switched up to a rapid fire normal shots and piercing shots to build from monsters which are not weak to thunder. I highly value mobility on LBG so you'll find that almost all my builds will not lock your character in animations and be very free for going, which makes it easier to reposition and evade monster attacks. For this reason I prefer to use this gun's level 2 pierce ammo as it lets me get more shots off due to better clip size, recoil and reload speeds. I've made several builds to share with everyone focusing on the strengths of this bowgun and how it can be adapted to different styles of play. I've also included budget build options with no event gear except for Cull since well, if you have her weapons you should in theory have the materials to craft her armour. First I'm going to show you my elemental thunder build. This build features three parts of the Xeno Gamma set to give the spare shot effect for some free shots. Unfortunately this set may not be achievable by newer players as it requires the event gear from AT Xeno Jiva, as well as many attack jewels which can be difficult to obtain. If you have the means to make this set, go for it, otherwise these next two sets may be more achievable. I'm not using the Xeno set this time, so I'm not restricted on armour and jewel choices. These builds have gear that is available all the time in the game with some Kulv Tarith items. They are very similar builds, the main difference is one has critical boost and requires more attack jewels. Elemental shots do benefit from critical boost but is somewhat less impressive compared to other weapon types. In fact, if you don't use any attacking buff items, these two builds do exactly the same damage. It's underwhelming for elemental ammo to say the least. However, if you do want to turn this weapon into a more raw focused bowgun, usable for any monster, then critical boost is a more reliable source of DPS increase. This style of play predominantly uses normal 2 and pierce level 2 ammo. You can use normal shots when the monster is close to mid range and switch to piercing when the monster is mid to far range. This feels more interesting to play and adds a bit of variety. If you prefer to only play one ammo type or lack one of the jewels, a mind's eye will increase the critical distance of both ammos. Both these builds are very similar for the Xeno set with the main difference being the attack jewel count. If you have 6 plus attack jewels you can gain an extra slot. I've put in special ammo boosts so my wyvern blasts do some extra damage, other than that they do the same damage. This next build is a more budget friendly version without the Xeno Jiva spare shot bonus. If you're missing normal or piercing shot jewels, I would fill these slots in with other DPS skills like peak performance until you get lucky on the drop, and this will also benefit all of your damaging ammo types. Overall, I think the Kiara Blitz Thunder is a fantastic weapon to have. It deals good thunder damage and can be switched up to deal with any monster through normal and pure shots. For this weapon to really outshine the Empress Shell Sticks, the previous best thunder LBG, investment in the Xeno Gamma set is essential. I do miss having sleep ammo on the sticks for some sleep bombing, however the Kiara has paralysis ammo instead, which is sometimes better for groups. Too many times I've played with people who wake the monster up right away. Thanks for watching, please support the channel by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time.